like why you had to take my brother's way Money and my mattress, but I had to cap another shake I just got another shake, I just got another shake All these bitches on me now the, the comparisons are what they are, and I, I, I know when I, you turn on the game, you watch them play. He's gonna do. You, you're just watching him, you know, on the floor where he is at all times, and the, that kind of uh, magnetism is pretty, pretty special, uh, you know, in the college game. So you expect that to continue, and uh, he's fun to watch. Trey Young has become the most popular name in college basketball, and out of nowhere. I mean, his range is out of this world. He is arguably having the greatest college career of all time, averaging 30 points and 10 assists, something that you don't see every day in college basketball and something that hasn't happened in over five decades. Pretty insane, huh? But with that being said, Trey is one of the hardest workers you will ever see. But with that being said today, I'm going to be talking about the story of Trey Young. Let's get right into it. Now, Trey Young got into basketball when he was really young. And it was in seventh grade when he realized that he had a real passion for shooting and realized dribbling was more boring and shooting was more fun for him. In a quote, he said, all I wanted to do was shoot threes. I wanted to shoot further back and further back. And during that time, Steph Curry was a huge inspiration for Trey Young because by then, Steph Curry was already becoming a star in the NBA with his lightning quickness and logic defying shots influence a generation of players like Trey. And with that being said, Trey and his dad watched games on weekends and decided that's what he wanted to be, a shooter. And every day, Trey and his dad would go to the YMCA before and after school. Stop and pop, Rayford instructed. And if you guys don't know who Rayford is, well, he is actually Trey's father. And the sequence was 50 shots from the line, 50 shots from the college three-point line, 50 shots from the NBA line, and 50 shots from, well, pretty far beyond that. Trey's father, Rayford, always pushed his son to be the best he could possibly be. And if you guys don't know, Trey's father was actually a former college basketball player for the Texas tech in the late 1990s and his dream was to make it in the nba and rayford averaged at least 15 points per game during his final three seasons but his dream never came true and he thought maybe if he'd work harder and been tougher maybe his dream would have come true but this absence of his dream has haunted him and pushed him for the last two decades and that's why he always pushed trey every day so he wouldn't experience the same failure like he did but growing up trey was never poor but his father Father would work him every single day to desoftify him so he wouldn't let anybody to get in his head. And during that time, Trey turned himself into a more well-rounded point guard, learning that dribbling and passing can be interesting weapons of their own, but he was a shooter. No doubt about it, the kid had a knack for shooting. And after a while, college coaches were calling so often that Candace, and if you guys don't know who she is, well, she's actually Trey's mother, who usually spent weekends with the three younger children and driving their daughters to volleyball matches, started wondering what she was missing when when Rayford and Trey left for AAU tournaments. And during that time, Trey started to get a lot of offers from colleges. Although Trey Young wasn't even a top 20 player in the 2017 recruiting class, but most of that had to do with his physical attributes. You know, he's not the fastest, he's also not the quickest, and he's also not even that athletic, but he has mastered other aspects of the game like passing, dribbling, and the biggest of all, shooting. So he was able to get some pretty good offers from colleges like Kentucky, Oklahoma State and Washington and Trey's father actually wanted him to sign with Kentucky because he wanted him to be a part of one of the best basketball colleges instead of going to a major football school like Oklahoma but Trey wanted to be different he thought it didn't matter what school he went to he was confident with his basketball skills and that he could succeed anywhere in a quote he said this doesn't look so hard I don't know scoring has always come easy to me I just felt like if I could score so easy at this level if I just got better at a few things and I was in the right situation and with that being said Trey chose to go to Oklahoma but right now Trey is arguably having the greatest college career of all time and it's something you don't see every day his range is literally out of this world but if there's one thing I forgot to mention is that Trey is one of the humblest players you will ever see, something that his dad always taught him no matter how successful you are. But right now, all the hard work that Trey has put in is finally paying off. He may not be the quickest, 
the strongest, the fastest, nor the most athletic, but this kid has heart and an unbelievable work ethic, and I have no doubt in my mind that he's going to be a successful basketball player. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I have for you guys today, and if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, share, and subscribe for more, and don't forget, I will be doing a giveaway at 2,000 subscribers. But with that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing day. And I will see you all later. Peace.